Morning all. So today's job, I'm going to look at the headlight bulbs. I'd updated them from the original, just normal H4, 12 volts to uh, these Osram night breakers, which are supposed to be 100%, 150% improvement, but uh, they weren't much cop to be honest. So uh, I want to try and keep it looking original. So I don't want to change the actual headlight lens. So I've got this, all the cowls off this one and I've uh, taken the bulb out and I've got some of these from Chibe fine Chinese imports and uh, these LEDs are supposed to be something like two, 22,000 lumens or something crazy like that so uh, we're going to give these a bash and see how we get on Alright, an unboxing Video. Everyone likes a good unboxing video, don't they? Let's have a look what we've got inside. A pair of nice gloves, some instruction manuals, I won't be needing them, and the light units. Wowzers. Let's go and have a look if they fit in the hole. job of that am I? That's a very very tight fit in there. I'm not actually managing to get it in. I need to get into a better position so you can see what I'm doing. I've never actually done one of these before, actually videoing what I'm doing. Uh, but it's very, very tight in there. So they're not fully not in position properly. It's not I've not plugged it into the back of there properly because it won't fit. So I'm going to do some modification. But just turn the workshop lights up. So I can't improve this a little bit. Obviously the skylights are Still letting some light in, but that's quite a difference. And it's not a bad beam pattern, actually. So the one on the left clearly is the halogen, and the one on the right is the LED. And that's quite a marked improvement. Obviously, you need some darkness to really tell what's going on, but not bad. Not bad. Uh, quite a difference, I'd say. Yeah, they should should help the job if I can get them to fit properly. Don't wouldn't say that they were however many times brighter, but uh, certainly look a lot brighter. So the difference here is the old one, the light meter, is putting out two thousand lux, and that one is ten thousand lux, and the distance is probably at that measurement is probably about two meters two and a half meters maybe so i know the light is not completely dark in here but that's quite a difference so we need to persevere and try and get it to fit now properly and then try and do some headline alignment deep joy there we have it both leds lights are in and uh, certainly quite a lot brighter but i need a, day, a dark night to actually uh, weigh them up properly. Just turn the internal lights on. And these lights have got, you can't really see in, but they have a little lens cap inside, which means that they they control where the beam goes, but I don't know if they're stopping this beam from spreading, but that's the little fella installed. This one wasn't as tight as the one to get in. Yeah, 
tricky to get located. Found them back. And then we've got this thing here. I presume it's like canvas circuitry or something. To glue that, I'm going to put that up out over here with a with a double-sided tape, I think. Get it on the other side, and it seemed to fit quite well. And then get the cowlings back on. Job of a good one. There's one of the cowlings falling on the floor. But I guess the next time I'll do an update on these will be when I drive it in the dark. Well, that's the night time view. I'm not so sure they're quite as bright as they think they're supposed to be. I know it's all foggy in here, but there seems to be big gaps missing in the light pattern. There's nothing to the side, it's everything to the front. 